Hello, this is Mark from Productive Computing. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about a developer tool called Base Elements. In this video, we'll learn what Base Elements is, why we use it here at Productive Computing, why you might want to use it, and all the different attributes that it provides here for you as a professional developer. So stick around and we will talk about Base Elements in great detail. So what is Base Elements? Base Elements is simply defined as a database for your database or a FileMaker app for your FileMaker apps. It's a companion that collects information on your system and presents it in a way that has a lot more meaning. It quickly identifies and color codes things you should be aware of as a developer, such as elements with errors, unreferenced items, warnings you might want to consider, and opportunities to improve performance. Base Elements imports information from an exported database design report from whatever solution you might be looking at. It handles one or more files as well. Base Elements will import the DDR and construct its analysis. Here we've taken the FileMaker Contacts template and run it through Base Elements. We can see that there's 347 items or elements across one file. There are zero errors and 117 unreferenced items, including eight opportunities to improve performance. Once this data has been imported and processed, it's now searchable, where you can use the Smart Find here at the top to search for an element by name. In this case, I'll put in the word contacts. This brings up the search results, showing me that I have the analysis called contacts, that's the actual analysis itself along with a file called contacts.fmp12, along with seven calculations that use the word contacts somewhere within, a layout, two objects, a script, and three script steps. Once this screen shows up, I can click on any one of those items, such as a layout, for example, and it navigates me to the layout area within base elements where I can see more detail of what objects are on that layout. My find is not limited to the smart find here at the top. I can actually go into find mode at any time and locate any item here that's available to me. For example, I want to find how many layouts are included in the menu by doing a find for the word true. In this case, it shows me that all three layouts are in fact available from the layouts menu. If I go back to the solution, I can click on the layout selector and in fact all three are available. All the elements are cross-referenced as well. For example, from the dashboard, if I click on these 126 styles, it will bring me a list of all 126 styles. But you'll often see triangles indicating links to more data and related items. Here's the detail of this particular style, but I can also navigate back to the theme. And if this theme was referenced by anything, I could click here and it would show me all the references to that theme. Up here, I can go back to the main file, back to the dashboard, and navigate to other areas. Here's an example of going to the 42 fields in the solution. Keep in mind, because it's in FileMaker, I can right-click on any of these and I can sort by any column or field. Here in list view, I can certainly do a find as well. I'll find for anything that's available here. If I want to find for all the unreferenced items just pertaining to fields, I can do that by simply going and doing a find and putting a checkbox. And because it's FileMaker, I can do multi-criteria find. For example, if I want to find all the unreferenced items that also have no indexing, it will bring me that list as well. I can export the records directly from here. And everything is just so convenient and available, especially if you already know FileMaker, which we assume you do since this is, after all, a FileMaker tool. Base Elements also keeps track of where you've been, so you can always go back through your history of where you've navigated. I use a quick key, which on the Mac happens to be Command Shift Left Arrow. That will navigate me back to where I've been, making it super convenient in working with this product. And because this is FileMaker, I can share this solution with other members of the team. I could host it on server, and we could all be working from the same base elements file, sharing the analysis details. Now, besides this single analysis that I've just done, I can now go back and import more DDRs. But first, let's go back to my contacts file and make a few changes. This time, I'm going to delete a few things. That should reduce my object count. Let's also add a new field. 
and put that on the layout so we can see items that were removed and added. Now I'll run a DDR and re-import that into base elements. We'll call this version 2. Now if I go back to the main menu here, you can see that I have the first analysis, which was 347 items or elements. Now this new one with less items is now 341. Now that I have two analyses, I can run a comparison report. I'm just scratching the surface of all the things that base elements can do and all the unique ways you can use it, especially knowing that it's a FileMaker file that's completely searchable, sortable, exportable, and even customizable. Let's say I wanted to go look at my list of fields but change my layout, making one of these fields a little longer. I can actually go into layout mode and make those quick changes. Just like that. And because I have access to this UI file in layout mode, I can make those changes. I can also create my own scripts in here as well and create my own workflow from within the system. And the base tables where all this data resides is accessible from an external file. So if I want to create my own file and mine the data in any way that I see fit using FileMaker, I can do that. So we've just scratched the surface of all the things base elements can do. If you want to learn more, we are actually in the middle of creating a course for base elements at Productive Computing University, where I'll be demonstrating more of what base elements can do and provide you a very comprehensive, full-featured course on all the different aspects on how we use base elements here and how you can get the most out of this product from A to Z. Thanks for joining us on this video, and if you want to find out more, go to the links below this video that you'll find in the description. There you'll get the latest information on the latest updates regarding Base Elements, the product, as well as our course. Thanks for watching.